City leaders want to make sure an anti-violence group is earning your tax dollars. Kansas City gives $650,000 every year to aim for peace to help reduce crime. Shannon Halligan is live on the east side, an area where Aim for Peace claims they've made a big difference. This is where Leonard Charles Jr. was murdered earlier this year, but it's only one homicide in an area that saw seven killings the year before. It's something that Aim for Peace points to as proof their plan is working. Covering four square miles on the east side, Aim for Peace says they create change by interacting with their neighbors. One of the biggest problems that our youth have today is uh, not knowing how to handle their conflicts. If we don't begin to change our behavior and receptivity to violence, then we're not going to see a change in the numbers. But some counselors challenged the group to prove their effectiveness and how they're spending $650,000 of taxpayer money. Our staff is out in the street. I mean, that is one of the things that they have as a hallmark. They respond to shooting scenes in hospitals, sending their 14 employees with a message of conflict mediation. On Wednesday, they pointed to decreases in homicides in their four east sectors as proof that their tactics work. No, I haven't noticed any uh, people going around talking about uh, making a change about the neighborhoods or the streets. Brandon Smith lives in one of those neighborhoods and hadn't heard of the group before. But Tracy Cole with Aim for Peace points to their last event as a way they're making a difference. An event with Redline Riders where just a couple of weeks before nine people were shot at an event for the motorcycle group. Although Redline had an incident, I think that it showed very strongly that they were still supportive of the event and we as an organization are about peace. I asked to aim for peace for numbers and how many disputes they resolve and how many calls they take a week. Right now, I'm still waiting on those results. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.